up you guys? This video is a collab with Alessio from Americans with Accents. He is Italian but currently living in the US. And we are going to talk about the differences between Italians and American universities. So the admission in the University of the United States is really difficult. It's based on how much money did you make, how much voluntary did you make, how many languages do you speak, and also some extracurriculum activity. And they also look for some athletic people. They always look for the best quarterback, the best basketball player, the most beautiful cheerleader. Americans are really competitive, but when you get in, American University, they also offer you a academic advisor which it will help you and push you to do well in your academic year. In Italy the majority of the universities has an admission test because they have a limited number of students. For example odontology in Modena has just 15 seats so you have to obtain a really high score in this test so you will be able to enter. Start from twenty thousand dollar a year up to sixty seventy thousand dollar a year, and the cost include only the school, not about apartment housing. But American students they can get like a scholarship, so it depends how good they are. The university will lower the price and actually give them money to study for free. About the cost, it depends on the university you choose. The first year at the Bocconi cost. 10,000 euros, but other public universities are around 1,600 or 2,000 euros each year. Usually there are two or three payments in a year. If your family has an annual income which is within a certain batch, you can have a discount on the second or third payment, not the first one. Obviously, lower is your income higher is the discount. Plus, if you have excellent grades, you can apply for a scholarship. The grade system in the United States is completely different from Europe. You actually start from 0 to 4.0, but average American students have around like 3.8, 3.9. This number is based on the assignment, on the presentation that you do, participation in class. So it's an overall of how you live your American college life. So American likes a lot of practice. So when you go to the class, the professor will always interact with you, speaking with you about the class, ask you a question, make you do some quiz, be participant. I did university in Italy personally and it was really boring. It was just the professor talk and I was me on the back to my own stuff and it was really hard to me to get engaged and understand. Professor in the United States, they ask you a lot of questions to make sure you study day by day and also to check your knowledge. And the fact that they always quiz by the end of the class or like every two three days that's gonna help you to don't study too much but you know also be on top of the game basically go to the class each day and do the work do the quiz it's enough to know the knowledge and pass the exam obviously according to the department you're in you can find from 20 to over 100 students and obviously the class with a small number of students you can have like group activities or interact more with your professor otherwise which is basically ever <laughs> every time all the lessons are just a professor reading or talking about that obviously the subject you are studying in some class you have to sign at the end of the lecture to testify that you were there so at the end of the semester you will have an easier exam and the grades goes from 18 to 30 or 30 with honor in Italy, when I was young, I watched a lot of movies and I know this is kind of like a stereotype of American Pie, that's the franchise that I was watching and uh, you know, when I talk with my friends about that kind of movie, they were laughing at me and be like, yeah, it's not really that way, but still, you know, it's 
It's kind of like, you know, when you guys think about Italy, think about Italian food and Italian gesture uh, and all around. Uh, of course, you know, every country, every people is, is a stereotype. Anyways, the American college, it's amazing. And like I say, it's an experience, it's a life, yes. You pay a lot of money to go to the college, but they actually, it's a little town. There is a doctor, there is a gym, there is a coffee, there is a psychology, there is a dorm, so, you know, people hanging out uh, in the same area. There is always a bar. It's really more a community. It makes, you know, people feel more uh, safe together, more friendly, communicate more, uh, and work uh, better. As far as I know, Italian universities don't have accommodation inside the campus. A lot of students share flats in the city uh, they are studying and prices usually are more than 200 euros per month for each person in this apartment plus utilities. The activities you can find in an Italian university are cinemas nights, Spanish movies in Spanish or English movies in English and so on and so forth or there are reunions, clubs, uh, in bars where you can meet and read a book or you can do a happy hour in English and obviously parties. Another activity you can find, which is I think the best one, is the Erasmus project. According to your grade, obviously, you can apply for 3, 6, 9 or 12 months in another European university and the years you are attending to the university can be three years you graduate and then you can decide whether continue for other two years or not other departments like law anything concerned medical stuff are five years and that's it and then obviously you have to do more more things which I don't know uh, but yeah, that's basically it. If you have any questions or comments or you want to say something, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and Alessio's Americans with Accent. He has two channels. I leave the links in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you next week with another video.